Hello everyone, welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's a Tuesday afternoon and I have the new chapter tarot on the tarot table for the readings today and I'm using the new chapter tarot because Harry seems to have embarked on a new solo chapter in his life, leaving herself at home in Montecito. He popped up in Vancouver over the weekend at the Great Cup. Uh, a surprise appearance, so surprised that he uh, had a seat waiting for him at the with the um, sports presenters and he was interviewed. Uh, didn't seem to know too much about what was actually going on. He seemed quite well prepared in my inexpert opinion, but he was there to promote the Invictus Games, uh, which he duly did. No sign of her, which is quite surprising, seeing as she has been front and centre of the Invictus Games for quite a few years now. So people are wondering what's going on. Harry looked very pleased with himself, waving at the crowd, smiling and grinning and that bald spot shining. Uh, you could see it from Mars. Uh, but uh, he looked very happy to be away from the claw. So we want to know what's going on with the new chapter tarot. Has she been told to stay away? And if so, by whom? And how does she feel if she has been told to stay away from the Invictus Games? Is it her PR that said, this is not looking good, you need to distance yourself from this? Is it his people who said she needs to stay away and let you shine on your own with that bald spot, uh, shining, 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 visible from space? Uh, or is it the Invictus Games? That said, keep her away. She is expensive. She's uh, draining. She's chasing people away. She's uh, using up all our money and all our attention. And we don't want her. And is she going to show up in Whistler of Vancouver in February? That's when the games are being held in Canada. Some people are speculating that there's going to be a sick child again. We've had a sick child once before. And oh, sorry, couldn't come because had a sick child. So we're expecting that that might happen. We're speculating that that might happen. It's supposed to be a family friendly game and the littles were going to little at the games. And well, now it seems the littles are going to be littling at home out of sight again. So we're going to have a look at this. I'm in snarky mood, extra snarky mood today because of things that are going on in the world. And we don't want to have attention on those things in the world, in Eastern Europe in particular. We're going to have thing, uh, attention on silly things and lighten the mood. That's why I'm here today. Uh, it's been an all singing, dancing day, so I'm a little bit hoarse. But here I am. And uh, hopefully here you are too. And of course we have to remember that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. And it is all speculation and all my opinion. And I just read energy and oh no... Uh, King of Discs in reverse as our underlying energy. And of course, we have to remember the disclaimer in the box below. There is Harry, King of Discs. Oh, and we need the next one out as well. There is the Strength card in reverse. Two card reading. And uh, you could close, uh, close the reading just on these two cards. Harry, King of Discs in reverse. That's him, Earth sign, king. Of course, he's king because he's patron of the Invictus uh, Foundation. And the strength card, the Harry and Meghan card in reverse. The, ki the king of discs, pentacles in good old fashioned right away tarot is the husband, the good husband. He's also the CEO, the businessman, the one who makes all the money, provides for everybody. He's in reverse. It tells me two things. It tells me he's no longer being the good and loyal spouse figure. And, and I'm not meaning that he's running around. We're going to check on that in the next reading, just by the way. But it, I don't mean that he's running around necessarily. I just mean that he's no longer playing that role in the relationship. That's one possible interpretation of the King of Discs in reverse, especially when it's sitting next to the classic Harry and Meghan card, the Strength card. That's the two of them, the Leo and the Virgo together. That's their brand. That's them strong together, but now weakened, falling apart with the Strength card in reverse. Um, the King of Discs can also be the person who has failed 
to fundraise to support the Invictus Foundation and is now having to go out cap in hand and uh, try and get support, uh, sponsors, things like that, try and promote the Invictus Games. They seem to be in a bit of a pickle financially. They seem to have lost some top people. And he's actually having to go out and do some work for them as patron. So there's a lot going on with that King of Discs sitting next to the strings card, both of them in reverse. That is sitting under everything because it's our underlying energy. So let's have a look. The situation, Megan, no, a no show in Vancouver over the weekend, um, having to show up at her hairdresser instead. I've got the Knight of Cups. That's Harry. That's Harry going out and schmoozing, uh, making an appeal to people. Remember me, I'm the popular prince. I'm the one that you all loved so much. I'm the sporty one. I'm the one that's fun. I'm the one that plays with kids and kids all adore me. I'm the one who can sit on the floor and play volleyball, floor volleyball and all of that. Aren't I just darling? That's what's going on there. The Knight of Cups reminding us all that he is so popular. Let's look at Megan. How is Megan feeling about being left out? Uh, is this a serious left out or did she just decide I'd rather be at the hair thing over the weekend? How serious is this for her? How's she feeling? Princess of Cups, that's Page of Cups. That is, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all in the sense that she's not lying sobbing on the floor. It's she's doing her little gig uh, in California while he's off in Vancouver. She's having to make nice. She's having to prove that she's got friends. She's loyal to her friends. So if her friends are launching hair products, She's got to be there because she's not a bully. She's not the demon duchess in high heels. She's none of those things. She's a very loyal friend who can mix it up with just regular people, party, laugh, smile, clap, do all of those things. So she's got her own little gig going, her own little side hustle going with that Princess of Cups. It's lesser of course, than what Harry has going on because he's Knight of Cups. So he's one step up from her. Knights are military, just by the way. So he's trying to um, re uh, uh, ingratiate himself with the military people. She, of course, is, I'm just this really cool chick. Hang out with me. I'm such a great friend, so loyal, so supportive. So let's see what her PR are telling her about this. Did her PR tell her you need to go and do this and fix your image by hanging out with your mate or you need to stay away from Invictus Games because it's making you look so bad? What's going on with the PR? What are they telling her? Ooh, eight of cups in reverse. Ouch. Uh, you're in trouble. Eight of cups in reverse. You're in big, big, big trouble. Uh, I think that that Eight of Cups in reverse is very difficult to extricate herself from this mess that she's in. This unpopularity, this view that people have of her now as being so toxic, being a bully, shall we say, allegedly. And how are you going to get yourself out of this mess? You've got to go out there and pretend that you're so lovely or show us that you're so lovely and everybody adores you and hug people and invade their space and sort of drape yourselves over them, kiss them and uh, hog the limelight while it's their product that's actually being launched. That's all, of course, just my opinion. But her PR tells her that she's in trouble. That's not a stay away vibe. Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups upright is moving away from something, leaving something behind. They're telling her you are in very serious trouble. You yourself and your PR and you need to fix this and you won't fix it by going to Vancouver and hanging around with Harry because that will be all about Harry and nothing about you. That's what I'm getting anyway from these cards. Let's look at Harry. Harry's feelings about being off the leash in Vancouver. He looked like he was having a lot of fun 
Oh, we've got the sun in reverse. That's not a positive card at all. Not at all. That tells me that he realizes that he himself is in trouble. The sun in reverse. It's a power couple. The strength card over here. The power couple. The sun is the most powerful thing in our solar system. And it's in reverse. So he realizes that he has been put in the shade by her. That's how I'm reading that card. And he needs to get the attention back on himself. We've got two Leo cards in reverse, major arcana Leo cards in this reading. The strength card and the sun card. That's her energy, which has been overpowering him, overshadowing him for a very long time. And he does not like it. We saw that in Colombia. I've read on that quite a few times. He needs to turn this around. He needs to get the spotlight back on himself and he needs to get the spotlight back on the Invictus Games instead of all the attention being on Megan. He's feeling it though. He's feeling, from what I can tell energetically with that sun card in reverse, he's feeling quite insecure without her around. Interestingly, he's so used to being told what to do. And one of his old school friends has come out just recently and said that Harry is someone who liked to be told what to do. He liked it at school. He liked it in the army. And if he's not told what to do, he doesn't know what to do. And he starts acting up. He starts causing trouble. There it is. This is not a confident card. It's the reverse of a confident card. Quite interesting energy coming through here. What, is he, what ha, have his people been telling him to do about Megan? Leave her at home, go out on your own. What have they been saying? Interestingly, we get the Four of Wands card. That's the Happy Marriage card. The Solid Foundation card. The Four of Wands, that's one of the things. But I don't think it's what it means. The Four of Wands can also mean the royal family, the firm. And I think his people have been telling him you need to get back on sides with the royal family or you need at least to remind people that you are royal. So interestingly, he was announced in Vancouver as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, not just Harry, as he once told people to call him. I think it was at the launch of Travellers just call me Harry. So he's become just Harry. No, no, can't do that. You've got to research yourself now and rebuild yourself and get your confidence back and get the attention back on yourself. It's a bit of a journey, that journey word there. So let's see the Invictus Games, the Invictus Foundation. What do they think about Megan? And um, stay away. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, that's the people, it's the thief card in traditional tarot. So I'm not accusing Megan of being a thief. I'm not saying that they think she's a thief, but it's stealing attention away from them. And they want it to stop. They absolutely want it to stop. It, I suspect also, because it's a, it's a shady card, the Seven of Swords, I suspect that people might have been going through the financials and saying, hmm, uh, we spent an awful lot of money on accommodation for her or flights for her or clothes for her or whatever we spent money on. And perhaps we should be spending it on veterans rather because it's uncovering stuff. The Seven of Swords when it's in reverse and holding people accountable for stuff that isn't necessarily ethical or in integrity. You're dealing with a charitable organization of some description here with the Invictus Foundation. Uh, the money shouldn't all be going to her. That is my opinion and there's been a lot of speculation about the fact that people might be feeling rather aggrieved that uh, she's costing them so much money. Shall we throw in and allegedly at this point. So were they the ones that said to Harry, leave her behind? If the instructions come from them. Two of Swords. Decision time. Absolutely. 
we're getting to wind back a bit we're getting that her people have said to her you're in a lot of trouble and you need to claw your way out of it princess of cups we're getting his people saying to him you need to align yourselves yourself with the royal family more uh, i don't think you need to align yourself with your wife because we haven't seen them together for months apart from that video that's a bit dubious in my opinion victor's foundation we get two of swords which is crossroads you can see it literally it's a crossroads choose you have to choose you choose your wife or you choose us, quite literally, with that two of swords. Difficult decision for him because he hasn't freed himself from her just yet. We're going to check that again in the next reading, as I've already said. But really, if you bring her along and it's all about her and the clothes she's wearing and looking at the camera and marching in front of the marching band in very short shorts, then it's over for you as patron possibly there's been that kind of energy in this and uh, i said i said i got a two for energy with this king of discs in reverse both himself as husband partner in the brand strings in reverse and himself as patron he doesn't really he hasn't really done well enough for them and financially in my opinion or even in promoting them just generally in terms of PR that's my opinion so interesting that they seem to have put him on the spot and said choose how's it going to go is she going to show her face at uh, the Invictus Games in February in Canada Vancouver Whistler or is one of the littles going to be a little sick and she's going to have to stay at home what's going to happen I've got the three of discs she might show up she might because it's the teamwork card it's the three three's a crowd she might just not be able to resist it huh. how does she feel about all of this well that tells me that they haven't uh, it's giving me strong vibes of that day in uh, santa barbara when she was at the polo when she was wearing that silly audrey hepburn outfit the giant hat and um, she tried to snatch the trophy from them and she got herself in a mess and a tangle of arms and sweaty armpits and that young fellow she tried to grab his prize from him and he wrestled it away from her do you remember that that's her she can't she, she can't let go of this not yet how does she feel if they have said we don't want you and it's all about harry and he's more important uh, what, what what are her feelings about all of this? Nine of Cups in reverse is uh, dashing dreams, uh, losing faith in something, losing hope in something. Uh, it's it's not. She hasn't got much left if they take this away from her. It's about dreams and, and wishes and desires. And she wants the attention. She wants everybody to love her. And I um, think she's wonderful and compassionate. And St. Teresa, um, uh, Princess Diana, all of that stuff. In reverse, it's, it's quite a sobering moment to find out this. That perhaps instructions have gone out keep her away it doesn't look like they're going to succeed in keeping her away with that three of pentacles which i find quite interesting and also quite amusing it might be quite an interesting vibe in february in canada so i want to watch that's your reading thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one